While development might be slow, Star Citizen has new things coming in every patch, which can make things that were previously not so exciting all the more interesting. And so I sometimes like to come back and make a gameplay video of one of those missions or experiences that I've had and just show it to you in a more raw format. And so that's exactly what this is. Hey guys, I'm Morphologist, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a mission that I did. It was a derelict mission wherein I had to locate a crashed Starfarer and recover the black box. But as you'll find, I wasn't alone on this mission. And if you guys like this more raw style of gameplay on my channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below, and by the end, if you think I did a good job, hit that subscribe button to see more. So I'm over here at Port Alisar, and I just got a mission to find a Starfire Rack. Now, this type of mission is actually really rare, and so whenever I get it, I like to take it, because the pay is often pretty good, and I don't know, I kind of find it to be somewhat relaxing. You can do it alone, or you can bring a friend. Either way, I actually think it's fun. So the ship I'm flying with today is called the Cutlass Black. It's a Drake ship, which means that it's not the toughest ship in the world, but it does everything pretty well. It's kind of a jack of all trades, if you will. This version's kind of the more basic, uh, I guess you could say piratey version. They've got two other versions. There's a red that has a like a spawn point at the back. Basically, they're medical beds where you can heal your friends. And then there's the blue, which is a, I guess, police cruiser type vessel. And that one actually has some interdiction capabilities, which is really neat. This one's more, you know, bare bones, but it's kind of good that way. So this mission's taking us to one of my favorite moons in all of Stanton. It's called Daymar. It reminds me of maybe Tatooine, except there's no breathable atmosphere. And unfortunately, there are no sand dunes per se, but from orbit, it kind of looks like there are. It's, it's a very rocky, hot moon. Man, just sometimes the places you end up in in Star Citizen can be so beautiful. Alright, so it looks like I don't have a warp point directly to the wreck site. This is pretty common when you have to do these types of missions. Uh, you're supposed to explore a little bit, so what I'll do here is jump to Dunlow Ridge, because it's pretty close, and then I'll fly on over to it. All the while checking my radar and everything, just to make sure I'm not being followed. People do know my name on these servers, so sometimes I will unfortunately get some people tagging along to try to say hello or maybe kill me. <laughs> you never know. So now that I'm out of warp, I'm going to reorient towards the crash site and try to keep a higher altitude because if I get too low, the friction from the atmosphere will actually reduce my top speed, which isn't great when you're trying to make, you know, good ground fast, so we'll cruise at this altitude for some time and then we'll drop down once we get close. Alright, so we're getting really close now, so I'm gonna slow down and drop down lower in altitude and land probably somewhere not too close to the rack. Now, at this range, within 2,000 meters, if there was a ship nearby, as long as it's not stealth, I'd probably see it if it were parked near the wreck. But just to be safe, I'm going to land, like I said, a little further away and then make my way on the ground towards the wreck. One of the cool things, but maybe dangerous things about the new patch, 310, is that you really do need to use your VTOL thrusters uh, if you've got them, because you'll drop like a rock without them. So, nice and easy coming down. Sometimes, even when I'm playing by myself and not even recording, I like to do these sorts of like cinematic shots because it just kind of gets me in the mood for what I'm doing. I think part of it, you know, the experience of Star Citizen in any game is kind of like getting yourself psyched out, getting yourself into the into the situation. And Star Citizen, well, it's so easy to get like really immersed in the in the environment because of the detail and all the procedures you have to go through. All right, so we're getting close. Thank God this is a game, otherwise I'd be completely out of breath wearing all this armor. Environment's not too bad right now at night. They added day-night cycle temperatures, so I will not overheat like I would in the day, but it's still pretty hot. You can see it's 80 degrees Celsius. I'm wearing medium armor, so I'm still decently protected, but I don't want to be out here for too long. If the sun comes up, I could be in deep trouble if I stay out here too long, but I'll be fine. 
looks like there's nobody in the bridge. If there were, I guess they probably wouldn't have survived. It's creepy, man. Turn my light off for a second, just in case there's somebody hiding around the corner. Peek the corners. Looks like it's clear. Let's hop in here, see if there's anything of value. Oh, there's a body. And a few packages. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of confirms it for me here. This was not hauling your average cargo. That bag right there was a bag of narcotics that you can buy and sell in the verse if you're a smuggler or criminal. So, uh, Starfire clearly wasn't on the up and up. All right, now we're getting to the main section, so it's time to take it a little bit slower. And I'm glad I did. That is a pirate. Look, there he is. It's probably more, though. Oh, there's one. It's got to be more. Maybe up above? I'll run across from this uh, opening here and take some cover quick. See if I spot anybody. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I'm lucky there. Just a little bit too careless coming in here. This is one of the worst places to come into the Star Fair. We, we had a battle the other day on stream, and basically nobody could make it past this point because of the uh, vantage point from above. All right, I'm going to take it nice and slow up this, uh, this uh, stairway here because there's basically only one way up from here. See if I can take him out with my knife. Yep, there he is. New takedown techniques. Heck yeah. Love it. Hand to hand. Star Citizen. Doing some cooler stuff recently. That was that was a 3-9 update, by the way. That wasn't that wasn't 310. There's another body there. One of the crew. The ladder's gone, so I can't go up that way. And I'm pretty sure that's the last guy, because I haven't heard anybody else, aside from that guy yelling. I think. But I'm still going to take it slow, just to be sure. Can never be too sure, and there's always the possibility that there's a player on board. This is that vantage point I was telling you guys about. Down below, that's the entry from the uh, cargo bay. And we got another killer hallway here. And this upper section, the engineering section, is like a catacomb. That beeping, that was the... Yep, there we go again. That's the sound of the black box, so it's somewhere nearby here. It is so creepy walking around these ghostly hallways, man. Still, it's really fun using the new takedowns. So, uh, I'm kind of risking it here, walking around with my knife. So this is the engine room here. Well, I th actually, this might be the gravity generator, I think. These are escape pods. Usually there's an elevator that, go that goes down. They must be closed here. Okay, so if I don't see the black box here, it's got to be on the hab level, which is one level up. And I can't imagine somebody who doesn't know this ship trying to find the black box. It would be an absolute nightmare. That looks so cool. I was trying to figure out where I could get up, but I think I can get into this elevator shaft and pull myself up. Because I'm just close enough. Yep, yeah, sure enough. All right. 
Last level could still be people here, so I'm going to take it nice and easy. See other elevator shaft. It's the hab area. Nobody. And there's the black box. Check down here just real quick. And then I gotta check the captain's quarters just to be sure this is the uh, mess hall. Another body that must be the captain. Poor guy. And that's it. I think that's the entire thing. So we're pretty much home free here. All I gotta do is grab that black box and uh, hope I don't get any unwanted company on my way back to my ship. Now if I had more time and more people, I might be able to actually grab some of these packages and sell them. But I, I'm only one person and somebody else might get a similar mission to mine and end up coming here and killing me. So I'm going to leave this place before that happens. All right, looks like my black is doing just fine. It's still where I left it, and there's no other ship around, so I think we're fine, guys. I think we're going to make it back just fine. Okay, so now that I have the black box, I have one last thing to do, and that's to actually give it to the local authorities. And in this case, the local authorities are located at Port Alisar. So I have to go drop it off at a post office box there, and then that's pretty much it. I get the money, and I think that was well worth my time. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching, and as a reward, I want to let you guys know that I'm doing a ROC giveaway over on my Twitch channel for the next two streams, so if you guys want to get a free one of these little guys, it's a little mining rover, definitely head on over there, it's going to be in the description below. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys next time.